what's up guys um i know i didn't make a video for um atlanta last week because honestly not much happened at, um now there's not much to talk about with atlanta because it's a mile and a half track and usually those are boring as hell so and it was <laughs> uh, i'm gonna start with the truck race from from last week uh, in Atlanta. Kyle Bush was running that race. Shocker, shocker. Um, not much was happening in that race until the very end where they made p pit stops and Kyle Bush went, um, lost a tire, like his back left tire, because. I guess the crew chief or someone miscommunicated and said they only needed right tires, like right side tires and not left. So Kyle left early and had an unsecure tire. So he left and stopped right after he got out of the pits, like off pit road. Um, and his tire came off like so. Of course you're gonna get penalized for that so and um so yeah that left the door open for a new winner which was brett moffitt and he um that was his third third win or second win i don't remember but it's two or three wins uh career wins for him but first for the team he was on um Anyways, what I was saying, um, Brett Moffitt um, won the first race for a new team he was on um, in the 16 truck, which was previously driven by Ryan Truex, who had never won in that truck. So, so that happened. Um, they had two truck series originals, like series regulars I should say win the first two races of the season but then we get to Las Vegas where oh that race um I I just don't know what to say about that race the strongest truck again was Brett Moffitt in the 16 like he was kicking ass up until a lapped car not a lap car a lap truck just got in the way, banged doors with the 16, which I don't know why that freaking happened. And then that just left the room wide open for Kyle Busch to take the lead and go and win the race. I'm like, and I'm not the only person who thinks that was bull crap. Many, plenty of drivers, especially cup drivers, were like, that was BS and that was stupid. So Kyle Busch shouldn't, shouldn't have won that race, his 50th in the truck series. So... He should not have won that race. Not because I don't like him, which I despise him with a burning passion, but um, he, he wouldn't have won that race if Brett Moffat didn't get screwed up by a damn lap truck who needs to know their place. Um, the Xfinity race last week, again, not much to talk about. Um, that was a snooze fest because uh, not Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick. Apparently the master at Atlanta, who's only won like one, now two cups races there, um, led pretty much the entire time. So that was a useless race. And then Xfinity Series this past weekend, once again, was just... I'm not a fan of mile and a half setting really much anymore. They all became like snooze fest because once you get out into that clean air, like the leader is just gone. So, but it, thank you, Joey. Say hi to my dog. <laughs> Joey, can you get out? Seriously. <laughs> Sorry about that. Dog's being an idiot. <laughs> um, as I was saying, the only like real battle I saw that was impressive was with between Christopher Bell and Larson for the lead early in the race. 
and those are two like dirt track um dirt um racers so that was pretty fun to watch um other than that larson won that race it's just i'm sick of hearing about larson i'm sick of hearing about bush and uh i don't know what to say it's just mm -mm. Anyway, we'll move on to the cup side of things. Atlanta again. Snooze Obama. Harvick the entire time. He won that race. And um, my boy Chase came in 10th. He struggled all day from going from like an 18th place car to top 10, like just on the edge of top 10. <laughs> he finished 10th. Um, took a co like crappy car and turned into a phew, top ten. Um, this week was not much t snooze fest. Another another snooze fest. Um, Kevin Harvick once again. I don't know how or why, but he was just another time zone the entire race. So he won every like early everything so back-to-back -back wins for him but the one thing that pissed me off was chase got taken out again second time in three weeks and it wasn't intentional i'm just pissed because i'm getting frustrated um he's he and larson are the only top chevy drivers at the moment just like last year they were the two two to beat even though chase hasn't won yet but still Larson and him have those Camaros dialed in, but the rest just don't. Um, coming off a of turn four, Kurt Busch, of all people, his car just stepped out, like the back end just stepped out on him and got loose by the start and finish line. And of all cars to be there, Chase was there. And he, in his interview, he made it seem like it was his fault yet again. And that's one thing that pisses me off about him. Like, you need to stop blaming yourself when that wasn't even your fault. Um, but I liked Kurt's interview. He was sincere about it and apologized for to his not only his fans, but Chase's fans and just ruining Chase's day. And well, on his day too. But um, it wasn't intentional. People keep saying, oh, he did that on purpose. He wrecked Chase on purpose. I'm like, people... Sometimes I wish I wasn't associated with you as a fan and as a Chase fan. Um, I'm one of the Chase fans that is not crazy. I'm sane. I use common sense. I don't speak through my emotions of other drivers. Sometimes I do, but this time I'm just like, really? Come on, people. Grow up. Um, so with 85 laps to go... <sighs> And we were having a strong run as usual. It was just so obnoxious. I was so mad. I'm still mad. <laughs> but I'm going to Phoenix race weekend this weekend. Starting Thursday. So four days of NASCAR fun activities. I'm going to the Holler Parade on Thursday. Taking my almost two-year-old nephew with me because he I'm getting him into NASCAR and getting him a new chase shirt number nine shirt um um what was I gonna say oh yeah and then Friday practice qualifying all that good stuff then Saturday was the qualifying for Xfinity and then Xfinity race and practice and then Sunday we all know what happens on Sunday so I'll be down pit road majority of the time all weekend. Um, so I'll be taking lots of video and pictures of like all my favorite drivers and drivers that you guys want to see. Um, just need to leave a comment about what drivers you want to see. Um, and I'll post them to my Instagram or Facebook, um, Twitter, whatever you guys want. Just, I'll add my, all my usernames in the description box so um yeah anyways yeah the vegas race wasn't much much of anything we got had only a couple legitimate like 
precautions besides end of the stages. Um, like Mary got into the wall. Um, McDowell had issues, me um, mechanical issues, so he was out early, which is not surprising. I don't know why he's still in the damn car. Um, so McMurray hit the wall hard and ended his day. Um, and then the Chase and Kurt Bush thing. But Blaney, Blaney, I'm surprised at how well he's doing this season so far. Um, he has like three straight top tens. I'm just, well, no, not three straight. Um, two two top tens because last week he finished 12th um daytona he finished top 10 finished seventh then this week he finished top five um finished fourth fourth or fifth i don't remember um fifth he he ran top five like all day from he sat on the pole for this this race and was like one of the fastest fords up there um besides Harvick who won the race again um but that 12 is looking like a contender this year I wouldn't be surprised if he wins either this weekend or next weekend so um even though people always are talking about Larson and how he's master of the west coast when he's only won one race on the west coast in cup car which was California so um Blaney, you need to look out for him this year because he's going to be dominant every week, I can tell. Um, that's my dad's favorite driver because he likes the number 12 since, like, way back. So um, so that's his favorite driver, and he wants me to get him a number 12 hat, which I guess I have to. <laughs> but um, what was I going to say? Um all the Hendrick cars though, um, not just Hendrick, but Chevy in general are still trying to get that car, uh, new car dialed in. So, and I, I'm getting irritated about people saying it's just Hendrick struggling and da, 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 they're not performing like they should be. And I'm like, it's not just Hendrick. It's all, all Chevys except for Chase and Larson. Rest of the Chevys are, um, still trying to get dialed in and, get things I don't know it's we're only three races in and still just try to get the bugs and dust um knocked off with the new new car so I'm not really worried about it um Toyota went through the same thing last year where they didn't start winning until like half halfway through the season like JGR in general the only Toyota that was winning was Truex but he wasn't really a factor in either my and a half races so that was fun um but yeah that's pretty much all I got for this week um I'll keep you guys updated on my race weekend and I'm gonna probably make another video about things I'm gonna be taking and just getting prepared um so I'll post my all my socials down in the description box and keep you guys updated. So I hope you have a guys hope you guys have a nice day. It's been a long day. Um so I'll talk to you guys later.